Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another mixed media art tutorial. I've been lately inspired by this artist Joseph Turner, who is an American painter who painted in the 1850s. And I just love how soft and painterly his work is, and sort of abstract in a weird way. So today I wanted to work on my jelly plate um, and try to be inspired by his work. So we're going to start off with some blue grays here. And I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out. I uh, Obviously it's not going to be exactly like Turner, but it's going to be um, inspired by him. Colors, palette, hopefully some soft tones. And I've added in some uh, okra color. I'm going to add in a little bit more. You can see that I'm not adding it everywhere on the plate because I want to sort of work in sections and build it up over um, more than one print and just sort of add the colors in where I want them to be rather than doing an entire plate. So here I'm adding in some raw umber, I think. Um, and I like how this is coming along. It's a little too dark, so I'm gonna add in some white here. And you can see I'm kind of making marks with the brayer to kind of change up the look of it. I'm going to add in this Caribbean blue, um, which is very blue, but since I didn't really clean, I'm taking in a tissue paper to dab it a little bit to give it some texture. And I really like how that came out. And I'm going to add in some of this cream color. Again, making marks going back in. I'm not trying to be too delicate with it, but I want these marks to build on each other and make layers of um, paint. So I'm going to put a little darker down here at the bottom because I want it to be a little bit dramatic. Um, let's see. I'm going to add in some of this bronze color to give it a little bit of a shine, this metallic bronze. You can also see I'm not using my Baron on these at all because I kind of want them to just pick up lightly the color. I don't want it to be so saturated. Here I'm in a moss green. And I'm again with the tissue paper to sort of wipe it away from places that I don't want it to be. And you can see the layers are starting to build up. More of the Caribbean blue. And now I'm just sort of dabbing with the tissue paper experimenting with how I can make marks within the paint um, so it's not all flat. I'm taking in my catalyst wedge and adding some lines in. And those were very subtle, but I like how they turned out. More moss green. Um, dabbing a little bit with tissue paper and that was a lot but I think I like how it's coming along with that green color I'm not quite sure uh, if we're getting Turner or not but I'm really liking the piece and I like uh, the marks that I'm making and the textures that are coming out I really like that metallic shine from that bronze color If you guys want to see more of my um, mixed media jelly prints, I will put a link above for you to take a look at that. And after the white end, that kind of made it a little bit more cohesive and the blue. Um, so I'm using my palette knife just to add some really stark shapes in without brayering. And oh, I really like how that turned out. We're going to tone it down a little bit. You can see I made that really crisp line there. Um, so yeah, it's starting to look really good. So now we've let that dry and I'm going back in with my Derwent um, graphite tints. I want to see if I can play around with these water soluble pencils from graphite from Derwent. They are graphite with color. Um, so we're going to see how they work over this printed piece. Um, 
they make really awesome lines and then you can go in with water and smooth those out and it gives really a really subtle coloring to it that's really nice and I haven't used these too much before um, so yeah it's fun to play and I like using all of my crayons and pencils and now these are the Derwent ink tents and these are um, ink in solid form it's almost like the sumi inks like where you can wet it down and here you can see once it's wet you can really get in there and make some really cool marks um, this is a color called bark that I really like it's not black it's sort of a really super dark brown um, so this is another mossy green color that I'm adding in and I really like how subtle this is and it works really well with the acrylic paint um, to give me just another layer of definition and another layer of texture um, I think it's really adding something to this piece and I really like what's going on here so I'm gonna keep playing with these for a while adding in just whatever colors I feel the ink tints are really intense like when you get into the reds and the pinks they can really take over but the graphy tints are a little bit more subtle so now I'm going in with my Mungayo water soluble pastels and adding in this really cool burnt orange color sometimes I change media when I can't find a color that I want or I want something that's a little bit more bold or striking or different marks so here I've added in some of that sky blue I'm going back in with some more gray and I'm sort of loving this whole idea that everything is water soluble so it all kind of goes together maybe uh, <laughs> so I like adding in these orange tones to really give it a little contrast with the blue up there it gives it a little warmth and then this peachy color is really nice um, just to get a little contrast and add some light to our Turner-esque painting and we're almost done I'm back up with the ink tints to make some more marks um, I do have a a swatching video of the Mungayos that I will put up and you can see that swatching video I've used those quite a bit they're kind of my favorite water soluble crayons as you can tell they're very well loved and very well used um, so I like the, the effect that we're getting here with just some marks and scribbles and all of that. And it's really starting to come together. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.